my beautiful YouTube friends, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be talking all about the Jeffree Star liquid lipsticks. I do have 10 of them and I have been purchasing them for over a year now and using them quite frequently. I thought I'd let you guys in on the scoop of what I think about these liquid lipsticks and my general consensus on some of the crap going on in, in the beauty community. Currently on my lips I am wearing blue velvet. It is kind of a purpley based blue. It's not entirely royal blue as I had imagined it to be in the photographs that I saw. However, I am still extremely pleased with it. I have a couple colors in the bluey purple range. So that is blue velvet here. Oh yeah, right there. I also have Scorpio, one of the newer purples. It's like a dusty gray purple color. I was actually wearing it in my last video, the Get Ready With Me. And I have I'm Royalty, and this one is amazing. It's such a vibrant purple. The color in the tube does it absolutely no justice. It's very, very vibrant, especially once it dries down. It's just like beaming purple. It's probably the coolest purple that I own. I also have a few in the green range. This one here was a holiday release, as you can see from the white cap. It's called Mistletoe, and it's just a true, true green. So it's like basically a Christmas tree in a bottle. Really cool color. It's very daring. I really like to use this one in like ombre looks and so forth. Also have breakfast at Tiffany's? Yeah. Breakfast at Tiffany's, which is a Tiffany blue color, as you can see. Very, very light. And I was kind of worried about this one being like a whitish base because sometimes the whitish, like lighter white based liquid lipsticks are a little bit of trouble and really stark against the skin, which this one is definitely, definitely stark against the skin, but I really did like it. I like it a lot. I have yet to find an occasion to wear it out to yet because it is such a bright, bright blue color, but nonetheless, I think it's really rad, really cool to have in the collection. And I'm not gonna even lie to you guys, this is probably one of my favorites. It's Dirty Money, and it is a disgusting green color, just like my hair. Very swampy, nasty, I love it. Seriously, it's such a cool and unique color that nobody's really done before in the makeup industry, and I think it really looks like American Money. It really does. Like that nasty, dirty, disgusting money that you guys have there. <laughs> I have three more to show. I have two reds. Well, okay, this is an orange. It's totally not a red, sorry. And a white. I have the Drug Lord, which was such a good buy for me. I think everyone should own Drug Lord. What a risky name this one was, but hilarious nonetheless. It was also a holiday collection one, so hopefully this year he'll come out with them again. If they're not still on the website, I'm not too sure. But Drug Lord is such a good buy. You can mix it with any liquid lipstick to lighten it up, or you can just wear it as is, which I've tried. Definitely stark against the skin, and my boyfriend said it looked like I was wearing white out on my lips, which I used to do on my nails back in elementary school. Did anybody else used to like white out their nails when they were in school, just like painting them with white out? It looked awful, but you know what you gotta do to get by in school. <laughs> I also have Anna Nicole, which is this orange, it's pretty much like a pumpkin orange. It's very vibrant, just like the I'm Royalty purple. Once you put it on and it dries down, it's like beaming orange. It is pretty much the coolest orange ever. I, I'm extremely fond of this one. And last up, I do have Unicorn Blood, which is the probably one of the first liquid lipsticks that Jeffree Star ever came out with. It is beautiful. Guys, oh my god. It is pretty much my holy grail. That's why there is no label left on it because it's always in my purse because it is so good. It's a dark, deep, burgundy color. Pretty much exactly what you would expect like a deep blood color to be. Really good and it stays all day so I have to wear it all the time. Anytime I'm going out for the day and I want red lipstick, I pretty much always reach for this one. 
and Kat Von D's Nosferatu. That one is pretty much on the same level as this for me. And funny enough, I do have a backup of Unicorn Blood as well. This one, however, was not purchased by me. It was such a cute surprise in the mail. Justin actually saw, he follows Jeffree Star on Instagram, so he saw that these were being restocked and he purchased one for me the same time that I purchased one for me. And I didn't bring it up with him that I had purchased one for me. And it came in the mail and Justin was like, what? What? This doesn't make sense because it also came with this one, which he did not order and I did. So he spilled the beans about two days later, his package came and he was like, here you go. So hell to the yeah, cool boyfriend. If you ask me, overall thoughts on Jeffree Star Cosmetics liquid lipsticks is they are the best, best, hands down best formula that I've ever tried. And I'm not even joking. I love the Kat Von D ones as well. I feel like they're, they're pretty much on par. Like I'm, I mean, hell, aren't they made in the same facility as we learned throughout all this crazy drama on the internet, but I almost, almost prefer the Jeffree Star ones. They are worth making the order and not being able to buy them in store. They are fantastic quality. Seriously, if you're going about your day and you want something that's not going to budge and not going to move and isn't going to separate or get balled up and crumbly and weird like a lot of the liquid lipsticks do, these are the liquid lipsticks for you. Plus, you can't go wrong with a brand that literally has the entire rainbow in their collection. I can get down with that idea, for sure. I just extremely like all the random colors that he throws out, specifically these two, Scorpio and uh, Dirty Money. They're such odd colors for the beauty industry right now, and that is extremely up my alley if you know anything about me. I just love random, odd, extremely different looking products. Honestly, 10 out of 10 for Jeffree Star Cosmetics. Their factory and distributors and the creators of these liquid lipsticks, the actual like scientists in the lab, have got my vote, that's for damn sure. As far as all the drama goes, I just kind of wanted to put my two cents in, which I haven't really heard in a lot of videos, but let's just be completely honest with one another and talk it out. I know a lot of people are going off on this, let's not promote Jeffree Star, let's hate him, let's, he's the nastiest human being ever, blah, 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 blah. Pretty much is all I hear when that Kind of spiel goes off. I would just like to point out that um, if you still shop at places like Walmart, huge chains, basically monopoly stores who are like taking over the industry with their like mass production and their, let's just get it honest with each other, their slave labor, their child labor that they are still doing. If you can go down and shop at the Walmart but then say to boycott Jeffree Star because he says some less than mature things and some controversial things. Obviously, I don't get down on racism. Hell no. <laughs> That's not a thing that I'm cool with, but let's be completely honest. We've all said some pretty fucked up shit in our past. Like, I know I'm a completely different person than I used to be when I was you know, 10 years ago, which is some of these videos. So if you're gonna shop at these huge corporations who are doing way, way worse for our world and the general humanity, then please, please, just sit the fuck down, okay? <laughs> just sit the fuck down, shut the fuck up, <laughs> because you gotta get your priorities straight. If you're gonna actually give a shit about boycotting brands and stuff, then you should probably boycott the ones that are actually fucking up the world. You know? You know what I'm saying? And just to throw this in there, I know this could blow out of proportion and people could think I'm totally like the biggest dick ever because this is such a controversial topic, but if you support military and you support soldiers, good on ya I guess, but let's be real. Those people kill people. They don't kill 
awful bad people. They kill other civilians who are just doing their duty too. You know, just like they are, trying to protect their country. So, you know, these two people, both probably potentially innocent people, killing each other, and you're like, yeah, go military, go vultures, and all of that. <laughs> yeah. So, maybe, maybe get some priorities straight first before you guys start, like, hating on people for a couple things they say in their life and having a less than wonderful <laughs> personality type, I guess, you know? Uh, there's people out there that kill people. There's people out there who put people to work, who pay people cents to make things that they sell for hundreds of dollars, so... You know, that's just my two cents. I really don't give a shit. I'm gonna buy all of these, all of these, and I don't give a damn. That's just what I think, that is my opinion. Uh, it might be completely different from yours, and uh, just keep in mind that uh, we're all allowed to have these things, you know? And it doesn't make us any better or any worse than one another. I thought I'd kind of raise you that, see how it goes, so. Hope I didn't offend too many of you guys. <laughs> Hopefully I didn't lose too, too many subscribers off that one. And uh, yeah, let's just always continue to be real with each other and uh, talk it out. Honesty is the best quality. So, you know, let's just... Yeah, that is my uh, two cents on this brand's liquid lipstick formula. I am, as I said, in love. So go out there, get yourself some Jeffree Star. You know, might not be supporting the best person in the world, but... At least you're getting some badass products that are made fairly and people are being paid appropriately, eventually, I guess, right?